Scorpions to um, your May insight. Now I'm doing things slightly different, differently this month. I normally do a little sort of piece uh, and then go into the insights. Well, I've done a, a special on the full moon in Scorpio on the 7th of May. Boy, it's going to be intense. And so I talk through all the things to look out for um, and to be aware of. Because I think if we know about these things, we can sort of get a good angle on things as well with whatever's going on around us so yeah take a look at the um the full moon in scorpio on this youtube channel and it, it'll give you a an, like an overarching picture along with the insight as to what's going on so it's in addition to your predictions this month so let's have a look and see what the angels want to say Angel of past issues, right? There we go. So they're talking about something from the past coming back that maybe something you felt that you had dealt with hasn't actually been dealt with. It could also be that you might find something from the past on an emotional level bubbles up. Because again, with this new moon in Scorpio, it's been pretty intense. And we're in your star sign uh, of um, Scorpio. So it's particularly pertinent to you uh, as it's in your sign. So it could be that you find that there is something suppressed or that's been, you've locked away all of a sudden unravels and comes out and it's like, well, I didn't expect that. So have a look at my other video and see how to handle it. But certainly just be aware of that. We'll have a look in the cards and see what is coming in for this month for you. See if anything comes in again with that. So what have we got for Scorpio this month? What have we got? Ooh. You might feel, because while I'm shuffling these cards, I'm also feeling that it's not quite as smooth a road as we would hoped for. Um, but things will come together, yeah? Um, there may be a few jolts and jilts along the way. But, shuffling these, it certainly feels that way. Right, okay, let's have a look and see. What we've got here, one for the end here. Okay, so first week, look at that. This is all about the Nine of Pentacles. This is all about security. Where is your security? Are you feeling secure? Do you want to change your security? This could be talk of looking at thinking about moving house. Um, or maybe not so much moving house now or maybe you wanted to move house and have decided I'm going to do it up um, this is all about making the home pretty in the garden look at this She's, it's a very luxurious card so it's one that symbolises your status there is something in this first week that's making you feel you've got it um, and you can make plans to change things if you want to but you've got the lady, she's dressed in the very fancy, um, the luxurious material. She's surrounded by her coins. This is a status. She's surrounded in the garden with the flowers, which is the richness, the beauty of life. Um, and she is quite brave in holding the eagle um, on her hand as if I've come through things and I'm confident and I'm in a good place. So this is a beautiful card to get for your first week. It does give you the guidance of being confident and looking at what you've achieved and drawing from that to move yourself forward. The second week, and there we have the Queen of Emotions, the Queen of Water, Queen of Cups. And 
The second week is making you feel more reflective and this could be the influence of the moon because it does last for two weeks um, from the 7th of May. So that's um, second week. You could be feeling very nostalgic. You could be feeling very reflective, uh, reminiscing. And that lightning it towards the head is all is spirit energy. So listen to what you're being guided to do. OK, um, you could be contemplating things. Um, tends to be more around your emotions and memories um, could come to the surface. It could also be that there's good news around a pregnancy. Um, there could be somebody who's telling you they're pregnant or if you've been out wanting to um, conceive this is a really good sign um, because she's holding a stomach there it's almost like she's just getting past the three month mark um, but if not it's about the birth of spirit giving you the inspiration of the birth of a new idea um, something you've wanted to do and you can see an opportunity to do it so lovely week second week then we go to the third week. There you are, juggling things around. The worst is over. Um, but this, as you see, the Reiki rainbow there. I call them Reiki rainbows. Um, this is healing. Juggling your, juggling your thoughts, maybe juggling your money around. Maybe um, you're trying to get yourself in a more secure situation again. Um, you know, the first week we've had the luxury. We've had the, the status. Here we're sort of... Let's change things up a little bit. Let's move things around. Maybe you're just having a, a move around with the furniture. Um, maybe for the hundredth time this lockdown. Um, but certainly there's healing here. A lot of healing. So balancing things out. So a pretty balanced week in the third week. Fourth week. Now, this is all about taking care of yourself. So... This is the Nine of Swords and this this is the energy of, of a mental form. Maybe you're feeling a little fed up with things. This could be a return back to work and the stress is getting you down or things are starting to change because we've had to change coming from normality into a controlled environment where we've been told to stay in. And if we're being told to change and start to go out, maybe there's some anxiety around this or your anxiety levels could be a lot higher than you expected. So try to do some meditation or some yoga or something that will calm you down because this could be something where you're dealing with something that's giving you a bit of a headache. Um, but try again not to get sucked into it. See it for what it is. Um, don't over dramatize it uh, and you will get through it better now the interesting thing here is I've got another card have that pulled is that after that we get some kind of offer there's some kind of offer coming in around you now this could be an offer around love a relationship somebody opening up to you telling you how they feel about you this the nine of swords could well be the fact that you're not sure if that person is interested in you or does like you but then you get this offer so where love is concerned that could be very romantic and very able to move you forward it could even be around a work situation where there's some kind of offer coming in around work but whatever it is it's coming in quite quickly the horse is on his back legs um the man is holding the cup it's like i bring the good news i'm going to tell you um he's ready to get going so i do feel as if it's, there's a lot of energy with this card but it's bringing good news it's bringing suggestions it's bringing offers it's it's bringing romance um and we're not waiting for anybody it's like well, let's do it let's do it now so it's a really energetic uh way to end the month so it feels really good so I hope you've enjoyed your insight for this month. I certainly enjoyed giving it to you. Don't forget to check out the moon video here on the channel for the emotional side of this full moon in Scorpio. And um, please like and subscribe and share. Let's grow this channel. Um, and until I see you 
next time, please stay safe. Look after yourself and each other. Lots of love.